How you doing? This is Randy Richard in the shop. And the filming for this video is being primarily done on the Kesslong MS450 endoscope. And yes, Kesslong sent this to me um, uh, as a gift or whatever you want to say. But this is a great little unit. And I'm going to swing the camera part around and show you. This is an endoscope or board scope, also known as. We're moving a little bit. There you go, right there. And uh, we'll try to get this in, in the camera view of both cameras. I've got two cameras going. The other camera is a Canon 80D. So, but th primarily, we're going to be using the endoscope for all this videotaping. And you can see it right here. This is a really nice small unit. This is no more than, this is no bigger than my cell phone. Um, I, I have a Apple 6S cell phone, and this is approximately the same size. Uh, and an awesome unit. Now, I've done a, a review on the other unit, the other Teslong unit, and this has the same software, same cameras, but a smaller package. These are excellent. As you can see with the video, how, how good a video it, it does shoot. And you can record the video, which does what I'm doing. You can record still pictures and play them back on here. Records the audio all at the same time. It, it's fantastic. This is a dual camera camera. It has a side camera and the front camera. That's what we're looking at here now is the front camera. And check these out. If you're, you know, I showed you it's shooting inside of the thread. Checking to see if it's clean. Looks good in there to me. Uh, that we, we drilled and threaded that hole and faced it off. All shot with, the, with this MS450. Uh, Looks good in there. Threads all the way to the bottom. That's what we want. You should check out the other video also. Uh, same quality uh, of the other unit and the other test long unit I did a review on. And I poked it in a lot of holes there. But this one is just, I'm going to film this video with this camera. Let's get back to uh, a little more machine work and uh, filming, filming on the video here. I'm tramming the mill. What I have here is the scope set up. Here's the monitor. Camera's coming in on the back side of the gauge. And I can read this gauge and I can turn it around and read the other gauge just like that. Pretty slick setup, no need for the mirror. This will work great. We have our camera on the, on the top edge, looking down.
just fits in your pocket. The camera just unplugs real easy here. It's almost like kind of like a USB connection, uh, but it locks in in the back here. It has a push button to disconnect the camera. And on here, this is the button you would press on the camera to switch cameras. Uh, we could just do that real quick. And there, now it's on the side camera, which is just nothing, right? There's my hand in the side camera. But I'll switch it back. There we go. Just like that. Slick as can be. And you can do that on the fly while you're recording like I was just doing. Or, you know, start out that way, whatever you want to do. Now, you know, on the side camera, if you're down a small hole, though, you, if it's too small, you know, the focal length might not be enough to uh, see something if it's too small a hole. But, but uh, other than that, it's the same, the same camera as in the front and all that, from what I understand. And both have lights, three levels of setting the lighting uh, on the end of the camera. So let's shoot some more video and we'll see how everything goes. All right, now we're going to get a bench top look at the endoscope, the model MS450 NTC. Uh, from Teslong. This is the box. Comes in. Comes in a really nice hard, hard case. Kind of, you know, one of these semi-hard type of cases. Really nice case. And that's eight inches by about seven inches. Comes with a user manual. Kind of hard to see. It's kind of white. <laughs> Separate compartment for the unit. So in comparison, this is an iPhone 6 and it's the same size basically as an iPhone 6. Identical. Same screen size even uh, basically as an iPhone 6. All the controls are here. Down here you have a micro USB port. You know these are pretty small little chips but powerful. Comes with This one came with a 32 gigabyte one. That just pops in here. There we go, and it clicks on in. And it comes with a charging port, USB charging port there. Over here, we have a USB cable charging cable. And it uh, comes with a couple little extra deals here. This, this is to go on the back. And it just screws on there real easy, like so. And that's a little stand, so you can stand it up so it sits like that. We'll, we'll use it this time. And in here, it's a couple little items. This is a hook, a hook right there. And this one is a magnet right here. So this goes, these go on the end of the camera. And if you're reaching down in a hole, you can uh, retrieve something. And then we have the camera. Now this is 8.6 millimeters. In diameter, that's 0.340 approximately in inches, and 10 feet long. Now this end here has a USB kind of, it's just like the charging port USB one, it's a little, and uh, plugs in here in the end. Now on here is the button to switch the cameras from the end camera to the side camera, and that just pops in here. And it actually locks in. It will not come out. On the back side, you have a button here to push to unlock it, to hold it in, and it unlocks and pulls out. Nice secure uh, attachment. So the extra attachments that go in here, this little bezel on the end unscrews. It's, thread, it's threaded on, this little end bezel. And you could take your hook or your magnet and thread it on there. That way it's a secure attachment. Now for the end camera, the end camera of course is right there looking right at that so you can see exactly what you're trying to pick up. That's the hook. And the magnet does the same thing, screws on there. 
Now I'm going to leave the magnet on and we're going to turn it on and we're going to see what kind of, uh, what you see when you have the magnet on there. Because the magnet's kind of right in line with the camera, so we'll see how, uh, we'll take a look at how that looks. The light is on in the camera right now. So we'll turn the light off or we'll tone it down. There we go. And you see the magnet right there, but you can see all around the magnet. So if you're going to reach down to, to pick something up, now I'm going to record this. I'm going to change this to movie mode. So I hit the, hit the, I'm going to hit the camera button and now I'm recording. And right down here you can see the red. That's the recording and gives you the time it's recording. Of course the time and date stamp and it's in movie mode up here. Uh, up here. And we're going to do, I'm going to record all this while we're doing it and you can, then I'll refer to it. So you can see what you're going to go pick up just like that. Right toward something. Right toward that little cap. Right there. There's the cap and we're going to aim at it and go right up to it and pick it up. Just like that. How slick is that? You saw some really good stuff there uh, uh, as far as the machining goes. What else you can use the camera for? I tried to show other things other than just sticking it in a hole. But these little magnet, the little magnet and the hook are kind of great little add-ons that come with it. So you can do other things with it. But the video quality is really very good. Uh, good enough to show in the YouTube video, really. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the Teslong MS450. And there'll be an Amazon associate link in the description. And yes, I, I get a little stipend from uh, being an Amazon associate. I get a few pennies, you know, if you click on it. And if you buy one, I'll get a couple more pennies. So it's really not very much. Uh, but I do get to keep this unit. Uh, it's, it's a very nice unit for the price. The unit works very well and has a lot of great little features. And you could actually use this in your shop. So thank you guys again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.